Yo, what's up, YouTube? Welcome to the Coffee Pod. My name is Chishi Zed. Drink the coffee, it'll make you feel better. Ex City girl Alexis Sky says that she's done with the streets and is ready for a husband. In fact, she says, I require a godly man. Here's what we're gonna do, man. We're gonna listen to what this chick has to say, man. Women are hitting the wall, epiphany phase. Um, coming to realizations left and right. I can hardly keep up with these chicks who are drinking coffee all of a sudden. Drink the coffee, it'll make you feel better. But I don't know, man. Something tells me we're going to have to check the car facts, right? So that's what we're going to do. We're going to listen to what this chick has to say. Ex city girl, ready for marriage, ready to settle down. But we're going to have to check the car facts. We're going to have to check the history. We're going to have to look at what we're looking at. What, 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 what shape are you in? Previous owners, we're going to have to do a background check. <laughs> we're gonna have to see what's back there what happened in the past but for now no more wasting time let's get it dear future husband mm. i require a man of god i require good morning texts. i require flowers mm -hmm. i require date nights i require time i require respect i require loyalty i require love i require affection i require reassurance mm. i require all these things yes Listen, ladies, never settle for less. There's a man out there that will give you everything that you require. And I want you to know, stop settling because it looks good. Stop settling because it sounds good. Stop settling because he has money. Stop settling. Ladies, know your worth. Love yourself. Mm -hmm. Understand that we are queens. And we are not supposed to be treated nothing less than queens. We are strong queens at the end of the day. So we deserve a king. Nothing less. And I want you to know trust the process have faith and understand to know your worth love yourself keep your relationship with god put no man before god and watch what happens but just know never to settle and the word is i require <laughs> women <laughs> oh man she said watch what happens but well, what's about to happen is the wall is about to smack the shit out of most of y'all but let's not talk about that right now let's be positive man Let's be positive, right? Um, pretty standard proposition there, script, know your worth, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. You know, make the new guy who's gonna be your husband jump through hoops while Pookie it was but, but hey, maybe, maybe he wasn't. Let's check the back. Listen, I don't know exactly who this chick is. I just know she's been on like love and hip hop, which is uh, an almost immediate red flag. But let's see. So she says she's ready to settle down, looking for a husband, looking for a man of God she's changing her life right first thing we're going to do is we're going to check her age how old is alexis sky alexis sky is can you believe it 28 years old right on time right on time for that epiphany phase incredible listen this shit is wild <laughs> You cannot make this shit up. There's more information here. It says Alexis Skye is an American reality television personality. She's best known for being on VH1 TV show Love and Hip Hop, Hollywood Love and Hip Hop, New York Love and Hip Hop. Damn. Sky has received media attention for her relationship with, uh-oh, Fetty Wap, ladies and gentlemen. This chick was getting smashed by a rapper. I don't know. Carfax aren't looking too good. Previous owners, Pookies for sure. I don't, it's not looking too good for her. What's this I see? Um, she is best known for the show. Da, 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 da. Let's see if she has any kids. How many kids does Alexis Sky have? Oh, one. Okay. Oh, not too bad. Not too bad. Personal life. Sky had a two year relationship with Fetty Wap, who I believe is currently in jail. But let's keep going. She gave her, she changed her life which ended in 2016, their sex tape leaked after they broke up. All right, we've got a lot of problems here. There's a lot of tea. No, um, I'll have a tea actually. Um, first off, more than likely, she's just reacting to her biological clock, ticking and realizing like, hey, 30's around the corner, I need to settle down. Second, getting smashed by rappers. Third, single mother, but hey, it's only one kid. But last but not least, leaked sex tape. Oof. I don't know, guys. What do you think? <laughs> 
comment down below. And what's important about this? Because I, I always say this, man. It's, it's not really the fact that women experience the streets. Because every woman, whether you want to hear it or not, because I know some of you out there are praying for virgins. Lord, please send me a virgin. Not happening. It's not necessarily that these chicks spend their time in the streets. Because uh, it's just the nature of things. Women today, you're, you're going to have a tough time finding a woman who hasn't experimented on the streets. It's the condition that you're in, the Carfax, the history. What, what's in the background check? And right now, we just saw some dark skeletons. As always, the internet did react. Let's see what the people had to say about this specific video. First comment here says, I like the new Alexis. See what seeking God will do to you. 4K plus likes. Spirituality is a beautiful thing. There is a coincidence, though, where women will start going to church around this specific time when they're now exiting out of the streets it's like clockwork now i'm not judging anybody's relationship with god because i don't think that's my place just worth mentioning their next comment says why would your husband text you good morning mindset stuck on girlfriend so she said in the video she was like yeah i want my man to text me good morning another comment here says you are allowed to change you are allowed to heal you are allowed to grow good for her the heart a lot of support here from the chicks this woman actually went against the grain and said i totally agree but you forgot about explaining what you offer Uh oh she goes on to say everybody that requires ain't worthy she's about to keep it real let's keep reading gotta offer more than a twerking cat bbl and pretty face because men nowadays are immune to it can you cook good question are you soft and submissive uh oh <laughs> uh are you feminine and know how to use it accordingly do you have an education not not so important are you driven not so important are you or can you be a good mother very important will you do the small and big things for him that you say you require men are human too and they need just as much love and affection as we do and this ain't no cap if all you're worried about is a bag and some bands, you ain't going far because a man will drop you off where you started at. Great comment. Somebody else here added, this goes to show that this city girl in quotation lifestyle they portrayed isn't what it's cracked up to be. Ladies, get yourself a husband and stop playing this independent woman or I'm a feminist role. Fellas, get yourself a wife and stop bashing women for internal trauma you should heal from the end damn with the uh, eye roll and the laugh out loud next comment here says people will always try to hold the past against you it's not it's not hold the past against you it's that while people shouldn't necessarily hold the past against you like bring it up right to bring you down if you truly have change and are working to be a better person but it doesn't still take away the fact that there are consequences to those past decisions. They um, do affect your credibility. They do affect your image. Just the way just the way life works. Comic goes on to say she went through many situations regular people go through without it being publicized. Allow her to show who she is now. People absolutely change. So this chick's like, hey, the only difference with her is that there was a camera on her reporting everything that she did, which at the end of the day, it matters, right? Having a sex tape out is uh, pretty pretty heavy stuff. Another comment here says, right message, wrong messenger. Somebody else added to the conversation and says she's becoming who she wants to attract. Love that for her. Um, what do you guys think, man? Comment down below. What do you think? We've heard her proposal. We've, we've looked at the facts. We've looked at the history of previous owners. Do you think this is a good deal for the type of man that she wants or is looking for. I'll say this, man, that sex tape thing is wild. It would be difficult for any man to want to marry a woman if he knows there's a, a, a sex tape, a video of her getting her cheeks clapped from the back. Not that I watched it before I did this video, but that's what it might be. As always, guys, I appreciate you for checking out another episode of Coffee Pod. Comment down below. I'm out. Peace.